Hi everyone, Fishhead here. I just want y'all to uh, to see these gorgeous koi at one of my boys' place. He's got an indoor pond. Like this is amazing. Check out indoor pond. Like you got that in your home, you know, say you're living the life. You know what I'm saying? Check these fish out, boy. Check these fish. Check these koi out. It's amazing. Triple A Koi. Just that one in the bottom with the orange head. I'm not sure what what's the name of it, what the what species or what breeder is from, but that there is ten thousand dollar fish. So it's expensive. You gotta take care of these fish, make sure they're everything is running nice. But what what reason why we're here today is you're actually here to to hook up uh pond filter and this guys is what you call a 70 55 gallon pond filter and it is it's a beast and we're gonna pack and load this with some media some biological media some mechanical media and we're gonna get it running so that we can take care of our beautiful koi over there all right so Stay tuned. Yeah, what kind of uh, fish are we, uh, fish food are we feeding our koi? Uh, we are feeding uh, uh, some tomiga, and this here is the all season, multi season koi food. It's a uh, high, pretty much high in protein and everything that the fish would need to be healthy throughout the year. So, if you are looking for premium food, can invest in uh, something like this and uh, you know get your food just get just in case you go inquiring about what food you should feed your koi yeah with uh, when you have an indoor and you are basically hooking up a filter like such as this one here barrel filter you definitely are gonna need to elevate this filter to be higher than your indoor pond so that's what we're building a platform for it right now. And, um, and we're trying to get the right height. We are short one inch, so we're gonna just get another piece of plywood, one inch plywood, elevate it higher, and we're gonna stick our barrel on top, our filter. Yeah, and get it running. Yes, yes, beautiful koi again. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So over here we have a one and a half inch bulkhead and it's re uh, reduced uh, to uh, basically a one and a quarter with the water fitting attachment with the hose. And for our intake on this side, let me get around here. For intake, we have basically same same uh, diameter, one and an inch, one and a half inch uh, bulkhead, but it's gonna be reduced down to a one inch uh, water water adapter, which is gonna be connected to this hose here, or one inch hose, to bring the water into our barrel filter now we have went ahead and we like i said it's all ready to go basically we got our basket with our swirl and that's going to take it in the water all the way down and let's get it in there one hand really what you saying Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's supposed to be like this. Someone's gotta climb in here and get it done. So, go in here and make sure that this here is proper clearance.
Oh, what we want, we want to angle this here towards the exit hole fittings. Just hand tight. Don't go too crazy on that. I don't want to disturb anything that's already set up in the direction of the inflow. That's it right there. Just hand tight. No glue. Reason why you don't glue it because you're gonna need to do some maintenance and when you need to do maintenance you want it to be as stressless as possible you might be as easy as possible and you always build things with convenience in mind that way you know that you have done a good job and you are going to be a winner Here you have it. Not hooked up yet, it's not running. We do have, we are gonna be reusing some wire balls from our waterfall that was hang on the back and various uh, biological filtration media. Now we are using a PVC hose not the cheapest but it it takes a beating and it's indoors and we want we basically we want something that is gonna be like over the top the reason why I say over the top because we don't want um, for any reason to come home and find that our basement is flooded okay because my client would not appreciate that and he just would not appreciate that so but set up in the basement, there's a basement window back there. Koi in the basement, people. Indoor ponds. We up in the north, we gotta do it how we do it. We gotta get it how we get it. No, I, I, well, I, we, we used it. Huh? We use as much as we need, that's all we need. We don't need any more. So do you need it? No. No. Uh, As you can see, we already have uh, filtration. This is the EZ3000. That's a canister filter. Pond grade. But we're gonna have to get more filtration in this system. Uh, basically, we've been having some uh, nitrate spikes and uh, some ammonia spikes as well in the water. So we're trying to clean all that up. And that's where uh, this 55 gallon barrel filter is gonna come in and it's gonna take care and do its job. is a labor of love. <laughs> this is what we're gonna put laid out first. In our barrel filter. Now this is gonna act basically as media. Also as mechanical filtration. We need them about this size here. This size, like various big sizes. You look like you know anywhere from three inch to you know two and a half three inch and bigger would do the trick and we lay that down first then next up the bat would be for a one inch even three quarter inch one inch river rock now we all are using this is all river rock guys set in place
good, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Because this way I could, you know, put the pipe. And you could you could access back here. Yeah, I could access back here. Like yeah. I mean, I, I can move after that because it's gonna be way to Mike. Yeah. So I can okay. move easy. All right. That should be not a problem. Yeah, that should be yeah. fine. Just okay. Just remember, we don't put no pressure in here. Huh? Remember, we don't put any pressure in here. And this guy, no pressure. Okay. As far as not to the hole because the hole is gonna hold pressure, but. Like for us coming and going like this, yeah. pushing this down, look what happens when you push down. It actually moves the whole thing. So we okay. don't, yeah, right? Just just in case, it's just like, so we wanna like, should we move it back a little bit then? Okay, let's Just a tad bit this way? Yeah, that's fine. Right there? Yeah, that's good. Okay. I perfect. still had to, you know, in order yeah. for me to go. But that's, that's still better than, than moving it, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Okay, all right. All right, good. This is crazy because we had to modify the barrel for indoors because barrels we usually put them outside outdoor ponds but we are gonna be uh doing some renaissance movements right now we renaissance men and we're doing it on the indoors so we're, making, we're actually making this barrel actually pressurized and we're trying to watertight it as well so check it out it's all ready to go yeah. Okay, so we just went ahead and filled it with our one inch. One inch uh, river rock. Okay, we have it. It's there. Then we're gonna give it our, our sponge insert, which basically is the, type, the same diameter as the barrel. We want it to be snug. We don't want any, any uh, basically we, don't, we do not want any water channeling in directions that we don't want it to go. So we wanna control that part most definitely so we can maximize on our filtration and not be cheating ourselves because all this work we just did and let me cheat ourselves. No, that's not happening. So we're gonna put this in here, and this is also gonna act as a di divided area. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. Did you did you throw out the thing? Did you throw out uh, the the scraps, the scrap pieces? Did you throw them out already? No, I haven't. Okay, good. Goody, goody, goody. Okay. Then we're gonna go with the polishing, slight polishing. That's gonna give us some peace of mind as well. So there you have it. Got a coarse one, finer one. Just add some bio, some bio media. Now we're gonna add some bio walls. Now we're gonna come back and address this again, add some more bio balls or invest in some uh, more expensive media or more concentrated media. But you'd have them in a bag um, on the hang on back, uh, sorry, hang on top uh, waterfall, but we don't need a bag. In this case, with this particular filter, we don't need a bag. We don't need to be sitting in the bag at all. It could be just loose. So you get better off loose like this. Well, because the bike probably has some kind of. Yeah. Okay, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm just struggling. <laughs> okay. right, so. Where's your tea? 
Okay, so. Uh, okay, there it is. Three for two. And what about the other one? Install, uh, which one? Uh, the, oh, you already put it here. Yeah. We can actually, you, you threw the bag away? Huh? And actually threw the bag in here too. Huh? That's got like some biomedia on it. Some biological media on it. Okay. Like biological uh, bacteria on it. If yeah. you want, you can just throw it in. Okay, you mean let's have a stuff too? What does that do? Ammonia Uh, you if you I want, that, want that. if you yeah if you want put it in a bag and put it here. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be bagged up. Right? Yeah, yes, it's here. Yeah. So we're gonna add some uh, actually add some um, uh, chemical media as well. Uh, when you got the large koi, you need to control the all their uh, all the ammonia and nitrate. Even the nitrate, you need to reduce the nitrate as well. Especially indoors, you want the water as clean as possible. So we're, we are gonna cover our, our bio with another uh, sponge filter, coarse sponge filter, just like we did on the bottom ones, how we covered our gravel or, or river rock with a uh, with sponge filter. And we're just gonna repeat that process with another sponge filter as well. Just a less coarse one. And there you have it. Yeah, we gotta get that. Yeah, we gotta yank that piece out. Oh, okay, okay. Or maybe you just use that piece because it has a Teflon tape on it already. Take this. We just take this one out and okay, and use the other one. Let uh, me get a, a first. I think we should start with this one, no? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. But we got Teflon tape on yeah, that, yeah. and it's an external one, so okay. we, we, it can leak. It can leak. Which one? Um, either or. This this one we don't have no Teflon tape on that one. Okay. So, so let's, let's yeah. Yeah, but I think it's better we take it out of this one first. Yeah. Um, How the lock? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't break the threads. <laughs> well, it don't matter anyway, because we're gonna we're gonna lock that up with the. Uh, it won't come out, eh? Um, I need. Okay, so let's see if we can. Uh, okay, hold it and you, you turn it. Yeah. No. It's going further in. Yeah. That's so strange. It wants to go further in, but it don't want to on. back out. With the build, you always go through these things where things are just like being just very, very stubborn. All right, that's yeah. build for you guys. Yup, let it run. Let it run. We all plumbed in and we are ready to run it. Burrow filter, leak test, run test, part one. I can hear the water running down there. It sounds, it sounds nice. It sounds good down there. What's going on down there, guys? <laughs> sounds really nice. So, what's been happening here is, let me just close this off for a sec. Okay, so we, We have two exit points from this filter. One on the side, which is just hard plumb straight into the pond. And we have one that is going from the very top, filtering the water from the top and down this hose 
come back over there, back also into the pond. That's also a return back to the pond. However, okay, so you can see the siphon right there. Water is coming out that other end back there. Okay, so we got that part. What we want to have both of them actually working together because right now they're both working against each other. We work, we can run one right now or the other, but we want both just for extra precaution. So what we'll do is we're gonna run another 90 degree PVC pipe fit in with the extension over to this bulkhead over here. I just covered it over so it will be flushing so to stop the flow of water. So we can't have both running with each other as it is right now. We're just fighting against each other. So we're just gonna plumb them in so that they dial them in together so that they are working together and that'll be it. There you have it.